if you just want to tick your green boxes just to make sure uh, that you can hear me I know I've done a test with Graham previously but we should be fine fantastic um, I just want to start by uh, welcoming you this afternoon again and uh, thank you for your understanding in, in moving the date um, we uh, the, the school I'm at now had a had a, a call from HMI and uh, we had a HMI officer visit over the last couple of days and um, as you'll appreciate uh, you know in schools when you get the call um, you know thing, things get dropped and, uh, and, and and that's the way it is so I really appreciate that and you know moving it at this uh, at this short notice so um yeah it's also nice that you know coming coming to the end of the course now I think what I want to do this afternoon is I want us to to do a lot of personal reflection on where we feel we are and um, and, and where we feel we've come from because I think it's a it's a journey towards senior leadership and um, you know it, it, it does take time and I think it's important for us to to uh, to look at that this afternoon I think before we before we go on just if uh, you know a lot of things may have happened since the since the last time uh, we spoke um, I think I, I certainly uh, I've started my new role as a deputy head teacher I think the last time we spoke that I'd I just got the job and just been interviewed for it uh, I started four weeks ago so if anyone has had any changes of circumstances uh, or anything really interesting has happened anyone got any jobs or anything like that if you want to feel free to drop it in the chat box that'd be that'd be interesting to see uh, if we've got any uh, changes of circumstances um, and if anyone already has made uh, made the jump up the career ladder anyway that that'd be great um, but if everyone or you know if everyone's still the same and we're still doing the same thing then uh, you know equally that's fine so if you want to drop that in the chat box uh, at the moment there's nothing in there so I presume I presume everyone's still the same but uh, you know someone may have uh, may have may have got something all right while that's happened then if you want to be typing anything that's great we'll uh, we'll we'll move on and we'll look at the follow-up then from session two and in session two we talk specifically about teaching and learning and raising achievement and the things that I uh, that I left with you was to think about the future of lesson observations and performance management and I think we talked uh, in detail last time about the uh, the potential changes to Ofsted um, and I say changes very sort of slightly because Ofsted said that they weren't really changes they were just clarifications on what had already been there and, um, and I think that most of us that have been in education for, for, for long enough knew that that probably wasn't the case and that, that actually those clarifications as they say had been left there by Ofsted uh, for us to believe that they were grading teachers and, and grading observations and, 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 and whatever else but I asked you to to go in and think. Well, if you had a blank canvas, you know, how would you go about quality assuring the quality of teaching in your school? Um, and that and you know that that's something that I've uh, you know that, that I've had to do myself in, in in my new school that I've been in in the last four weeks. So um, I mean, if anyone, if, again, you know, to try and to try and get this as interactive as possible, if anyone's got any ideas or anything that they have actually looked at and and, and you went away and thought about and you tried or or you've passed the information on and, and it's worked or or any any sort of huge brain waves that you think is um, you know a, a worth sharing with us then you know again feel free to drop those in, in the chat box I also asked you in raising achievement to download and read the Sutton trust toolkit um, and I hope you I hope you've had a chance to do that because uh, you know we, we I talked about the fact that uh, that all the, the research that uh, the Sutton trust toolkit had done on spending you know pupil premium money and what is the most effective ways to do that and they were all ranked in terms of the uh, the value for money uh, that you receive so um, I hope you've had a chance to do that if you haven't um, then uh, I, I strongly suggest you do that and you catch up on that reading uh, and, you, and you download that and secondly I, I talked about John Hattie's work um, and, and his work on visible learning which is very very similar to the Sutton Trust Toolkit in terms of John uh, ranks uh, nearly 150 different interventions and again their effect sizes so if we're looking at raising achievement and we're looking at intervention then uh, you, know, we, you know rather than having to do all this research yourself you can tap into this research this research that is global research um, and to see actually which of these interventions are statistically proven to have the greatest effect size in the classroom um, and again you know, did, did anyone do that? Has anyone got the book? Um, you know, feel free to you know to let us know now because it may be that if, if you've read it and you think it's great, the rest of the people in the room might might, might then think that they you know they might be some uh, you know weekend reading or you know half term next week get out to a bookstore and get the book. So if you've done that, if you've read the Sutton Trust Toolkit, if you've read John Hattie's work, if it's been of any use, 
tell me in the box if you if it's been a load of cobblers and you thought it was a waste of time and that's a few hours of your life you're not getting back equally drop us a message in there uh, and tell us so we can uh, you know so that so that feedback can be shared within the group because I think that that's important that uh, we learn from each other um, and um, and you know and, and, we, and we keep talking so Laura's said in here she's been making teachers video themselves more and some people um, just yes you but never change their, their practice right if they see how bad it is for themselves it's more effective especially when a head of the department comes into class they all change their behavior absolutely um, I think that there are I've certainly seen two tools um, for that uh, Laura and I don't know what you do whether you just literally video it via uh, a, a you know a, a camcorder I think I mentioned this last time that um, there is a, a bit of software uh, an expensive software called Iris yeah Laura so that's one they use um, and the school I'm at at the moment uh, we are using uh, something called Star Lesson uh, very similar in terms of the fact that you can uh, record the lesson you can then share it with the teacher you can um, you, you can review it you can add notes to it all those sorts of things um, so um, yeah that's a, a, that's a good piece of uh, piece of software and if you're not using that get on and online and have a look uh, see, what, see what it's like and maybe the fact that you know as you move into your role as a senior leader if you're leading on teaching and learning it's something that you are going to be pushing maybe to for the school to purchase um, or you want to go out and see it at another school go out and have a look at it and see the impact of it because that's what it's all about what's the impact yes we can film lessons but is it having an impact on the quality of teaching in the classroom um, so so yeah did anyone get hold of John Hattie's work then or the Sutton Trust Toolkit did anyone anyone do that um, no one's put anything there yet so at the moment I'll take it that, 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 that no one has done that um, but it certainly is it certainly is worth looking at if you haven't already done that so uh, you know get get hold of that Sutton Trust you can download anyway John Hattie's work it's worth uh, Andrew said that it was very useful excellent um, yeah John Hattie's, John Hattie's got a book you know it may be worth getting that Mandy went on a course in Leeds with John Hattie Mandy, which where was it at? I might have been at the same course as you. Uh, was it at, was it at the Metropolitan Hotel? Um, because I I was at that course with John, and, I, and that's I came back inspired. Yes, so we were at the same course, Mandy. Um, fantastic, small world. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and I, and and he sort of inspired me to really to go away and look into his work a bit more. And uh, I did some work on flip learning in my classroom not so long ago, and I used John Hattie's um, effect size. Uh, rationale really to test my students at the start and then test them at the end and actually calculate the effect size which was which was very very interesting indeed uh, certainly something I would uh, I would advise you all to look at and to see uh, how it uh, how it can be transformed in your classroom and Mandy's saying it inspired us to make a number of changes too brilliant that's what it's all about it's all about going out learning bringing it back and seeing the impact in our classrooms all right well keep those messages coming in I will keep responding to them um, and then I will I will move on now, um, and anything else that drops in the box I will uh, I will refer to in a, in a couple of seconds. All right. Um, before I move on, then John, you said he's had a look at both. Both have been used as a basis of improving quality of teaching and learning. Uh, very interesting and made reflect on the way I teach. Excellent. That's great. And that, that's fantastic feedback um, because you know, I, I, you know as as reflective practitioners, I think that it's really important that we take the we take the um, we take the we take the time out of our 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 daily hectic classrooms and actually t you know take a reflective view on our own practice and, and use that research. Uh, Laura, I found out about Hattie's course. Uh, it was through um, my school that I left. Uh, we're a lead school with Osiris Education, uh, O S I R I S, Osiris Education, and we hosted uh, courses for them um, as like a lead school. Uh, we were so um, and. You know, I, I was able to, to to see which courses we went on, and therefore, you know, we got invited to other courses. We you know, we got information on their courses, and um, and and John was John was speaking for you know uh, uh, for Osiris at Leeds. So certainly, I would have a look at a look at Osiris's website. Lots of good stuff going on, as there is, um, you know, with you know with, with, with subject support here, and 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 really, you know, take it, you know, t take a look as much as you can at what's going on, and 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 get involved in some CPD, um, you know, wherever it is, um, you know, whether it's inside your own school. Whether it's subject to sport, you know, whether it's anywhere else, is really, you know, get out there, see what's going on, and um, you know, use as many, uh, you know, use as many sort of, uh, you know, op opportunities to do that. <laughs> Crimson, that's the competition. I was, I was just answering a question, and I, I, uh, I made sure I, uh, I, I, you know, I promoted everyone, Graham, as a, as a matter of course. So, uh, but no, it, it, it is. It's about getting out there and seeing, seeing what's available. And there's some fantastic stuff out there. 